You can see, even though people live in the country, they do not slow down for horses. So that's why I have issues going out on the road. And we don't have any like bridleways or like hacking tracks or anything like that where I live, so we have to go on the road. Penny slow walk. Huh? That should be on you now. I could actually walk faster than you right now. Yeah, I could. It's kind of sad. You're so slow. <sighs> Jesus Christ, horse. I'm gonna fall asleep. Sprinklers, so don't get any ideas. Okay? They're just sprinklers. I've seen sprinklers before. Yes, you have. Ugh, I hate going through these gates in case she spooks in the middle of them, which is what she's done before. And smashed my legs. She's a dickhead. Aren't you? You're just a bit silly. You're still so slow. Hello, Mr. Cow. As soon as I take one hand off the rein, she's like, oh, I have no steering now. I'm like, I don't even have anything on the rein here. And now she steers as long as I've got my hand on there. Strip it. Oh, stupid Penny. No, you're a good girl. Hmm? Could be worse. Could be jig jogging sideways and praying for my life right now. So, you know, be thankful. There's no in-between. Well, I don't think Penny's... I think Penny's jig jog like twice in her whole entire life. So, you know, definitely wasn't meant to be a racehorse. Whereas Spence, he jig jogged all the time. Every time. There's some jumps in there, Penny. She's like, no, I've jumped twice this week. I'm not doing that. Do you like doing trail riding? Sometimes, when you're not scared of everything. Like shadows. Hmm? Like shadows and trees and pigeons and cats and dogs and gars and flies. Hmm? It's just a scary world, isn't it, Penny? It's just a scary world. He's woken up now. Relax, half. It's all good. He stopped worrying and internalizing everything, then you could have a much nicer ride. But no, you're an overthinker. You think too much. You're walking like a fucking weirdo. 
you walk straight, you like dropped your back one way, so you fall off one way. I think the dog's in that one there. But you know, hopefully they're home. Because I hate being attacked by a dog. <laughs> bum into it. There you go. Good job. Get up. And you're gonna go down here in a minute. Hold on to your knickers because it's a bit slippery. It's all gravel. So you know don't be a dick. Come on get up. It's fine it's just a stick. Good girl. Good. Get up. There's horses in, in this paddock down here, so get up. Don't. Just a pony. Chill out. You haven't even seen the pony yet. God, what are we speaking at? Nothing. See? It's all good. Hi, little pony. Oh, fuck off. It's just a person. It's all good. Good girl. Good girl. It's not that scary, was it? No, it wasn't. It's just a person. You could see it before I could though. Hmm? You could see him before I could. Go over the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Crap. No, not cantering, just trotting. Just trotting. And years later. Forward. Forward. Good girl. Good girl. Fuck, I forget how spooky you are by yourself. It's actually ridiculous. And then last time we came down here, she was like pot rearing with her, like, because she was being leased at the time. She was pot rearing with this little girl. And I was like, just crack her one! But yeah, no. Couldn't really do that because Penny's a dickhead and I was like, she'll either pig root her off and run away onto the road or she'll just be fine and get on with her job like there's no in between. So, but yeah, Penny's actually quite spooky. 
um, on her own. I haven't even done an intro to this video, but basically I don't know how much footage I'll have because I've only got like 30 minutes on my SD card because I didn't clear my big SD card. So not sure how long this video will be, but hopefully it'll be a little bit longer than was at least something for me to put up on YouTube because I am um, still editing the Oakford videos. So I just haven't had a chance to edit them because someone's always been home when I'm doing my voiceover and they come in and they're like, what, what'd you say? And it's like, never mind. And then I lose my track of thought and it's like, oh, well, I give up now. But yeah, so we're at the back of Darden Up Pony Club, which is where we're competing next weekend at the two day event, which will be fun. Penny's never competed on the cross country before on the cross country course before because they don't hire it out and they don't like let people ride on it, which is stupid, but anyways. Um, so yeah, we've got our first two day event there. Um, it'll be our first two day event ever because she's only done a one day event at Wollongarra last year, which is, I'll put it up in the iCards up the top, but that was our first eventing star. And she did really, really good. She came third. Um, but yeah, if I can stay on next weekend, then we'll be in the placings anyways, because they've like so far there's only like two people in my class which kind of sucks but um you know hopefully some more people enter actually the entry's closed today so hopefully they still run the event even though there's not like a whole lot of people there but um i think there's like at least 80 people going or something like that i need to like double count but yeah i'm really excited to have a go um the dressage is going to be pretty shit because i, I haven't learned the new test yet so as long as I remember the test, I'll be fine. It doesn't have to look pretty. It won't be pretty, but at least we'll get through it. But yes, I'm probably gonna turn around just up here because I don't wanna go on the main road today because she's, um, yeah, I've obviously given her a day off and I don't have my um, Equilab tracker on, which is kind of stupid. I forgot to put the whole app on at all. I'm supposed to be tracking miles because I'm doing them my hackathon, but I forgot to put my phone on like a dickhead. So that was stupid. So I'll just have to like manually enter it or something. But yeah, she's kind of jacking up a little bit now. So I'm just gonna walk her up here and turn her around so it's my idea, not hers. So I'll just turn her around in here. And then. <clears throat> Some full driving there. But yeah, hopefully you get across the bridge okay. <laughs> I would have a trot on here, but she's been a bit footy on the way up. So I don't really want to like hurt her feet or anything because I'm trying a new farrier, which is going pretty well. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen the before and after photos. And I definitely think she's a lot better now than what she was. Um, when she was first shod, this is what her face, feet used to look like. And then I changed my farrier because the other farrier kind of got really, really slack. And he did a really, really shitty job of Spencer's feet and gave him like mechanical laminitis. That was joyful. Um, but that's another story time. Um, so... Yeah, um, her feet are now kind of getting back to that nice shape now because before they were really, really long on the toe and she was really low in the heel and she kept tripping and having a lot of issues. But now we're kind of a lot better shape and definitely heaps better. So she walks so much better on the grass, but of course you can't really um, have it grass the whole way through. So yeah. Um, we just went for a little hack today. I went a way that I don't usually go. So this is like the only bridle. This is one of the three bridle paths I know of. Um, and it's not very long. It's just like, you know, it'd be like not even a kilometre. You can go right the way into town, but I'm not doing that today because I'm by myself. And I don't really know how she'd cope with all the traffic by herself. Like she's good, but if she starts playing up, I don't really want to walk home the whole way because as soon as I get off, I can't get back on because of my um, CMT and my knee surgery. So probably um, not the wisest idea. And I've got to be home before 11, so. But yeah, so um, basically the Darden Up one two day event is, so you've got dressage on the Saturday and you've also got show jumping on the Saturday um, about like midday. And then you've got cross country Sunday morning, which is really good. I think it's really spaced out quite well. Um, Cause Wollongarra like, even though the courses were like quite, they weren't e like they were fairly easy for E grade, but I, I was I wasn't as tired with it being all in the one day. But I'll have to see how Penny goes on the two day. If she's really really tired, then I'm not going to bother. But like she should be fine because we've been doing a fair bit of like trail riding and stuff and getting her fitness up. And she's had 
one cross country or like cross country start at Oakford um, the, on the Monday just gone so um, she should be okay and fit enough to do everything hopefully she goes over the bridge again I'm just gonna sit back and hopefully she doesn't jump off the sides because um, yeah that would be really really bad that's like my biggest fear going over this bridge for some reason I'm like I don't know why but it's just something that I always think about good girl good and if I just talk over her um, like the hollow noise that the bridge makes she's okay but stop shaking you're gonna shake me off like she did on the other weekend but I think that little jump there might be one for our weekend maybe but it might be a little bit too big to be 45 I'm not sure I don't know I'm really hot in this jacket but it's got my phone and everything in it so I can't take it off how come you're so much forward uh, going home that's the real question because you know you're going to get some dinner just see how they do the course hopefully they like slash it all and everything beforehand because there's nothing worse than going through long glass not knowing what's going on and where all the holes are but kind of best of both worlds so but yeah I was hoping to call into my friend Jasmine places on the way here but um I don't think she's home so and I can't get my phone out to message her because Penny's being a dick so go on oh fuck Yeah, up you go, up you go. I really want to sit back and sit on my bum right now, but you know, can't do that when you're going up a hill. Now don't spook going down this hill because you'll slip on your ass. Got it? It's gravel. You'll just fall like a sack of potatoes. Oh, hold, come back. Slowly, slow. Good girl, there you go. Luke Slowwalker. 